All right, so let's start creating this tileset. So I have here in Krita a document of 16 by 32 pixels. And we are going to start with creating two base styles. All right. You can use Krita or of course any other software that you use for your pixel art. In my case, I use Krita. And let's start simply with a dark color for a ground. In my case, I'm going to make something like that. I'm going to duplicate this, move it here. And now we are going to create a top. In my case, I'm simply going to use grass. So I'm going to remove a little bit of that there. If you want to support the channel, please consider getting one of my courses. With the link down below, you can get two premium months of Skillshare for free. This will give you full access to all classes on Skillshare, including mine. My complete pixel art course teaches you from scratch how to create all the art that you need for your video game. From making lines, to choosing the correct colors, making item sets, and complete environments, characters, and user interfaces. I offer full feedback on your work. Hundreds of students have taken my course, which is rated at 4.5 stars. You can also get the course in Udemy for permanent access. Link down in the description. Thanks. Right. So let's try this. I'm going to save this document as a PNG. And we are going to start working with tile setter. So first, here you have this window where we are going to import our tiles. First, before importing your tiles, you need to select the size of your tile. In my case, I'm using 16 pixels by tile. All right. And we have two choices. We can go right click, import and select our image or control Z to undo, or you can go right click, create sync region, all right? So the difference is this, all right? I'm going to create a sync region and I'm going to make any modification here to my file. So you can see, let's save it again. And as you can see, it has updated the tile on tile setter. If I were to import this and I was to make a modification, it will update only on the sync regions. It will not update if you simply import the tile set. Right? So we will delete that. There we go. In my case, I prefer to work with sync regions. Right? Now I can control C. Control V, you select tiles simply by, by left clicking. So you can select and drag the tiles too. And we are simply going to right click wheel borders blob. This is for a side view video game. If you were to make a top down video game that we are going to see how to do that later, you will select one. In this first case, we are going to work with Blob. All right, so you have this. These are all the tile sets that Tile Sharer is going to generate for us. All right, so we have the base here, and you will see that we have those white dots. That's where you need to replace the image with the other tile, the grass. So, as you can see, border tile, here we have the layers that you can see. We have the base, which is this one. And here, source, we are going to replace this with, sorry, let me create a new document. So we have this a little bit cleaner, All right? Middle mouse to pan, there we go. Source, and we select the grass. And as you can see, it has updated a bunch of tiles. We simply need to do the same for all the sides. And there we have our tile set. 
right? Another thing that you can do is on this part here, you can test your tile set. So you can select any tile, you can select the pen tool and you will start painting your tiles. But a lot better is to click the middle tile of our tile set. Here on tiling, we are going to select this bottom here, which is blow set. And we are going to select the tear tool. And now you simply paint and it's going to auto select the tile that you need. If you right click, you are going to erase. If you press Ctrl and you click any tile, you will select that tile to paint with it. Alright, so let's do some other stuff. I'm going to come here to my document and I'm going to resize the canvas. Right, I'm going to add some extra tiles and I am simply going to Select my base, copy it, and I'm going to create a side. So for that, I'm going to erase to have some rocks. And now I'm going to select the same color. I'm going to make it lighter. And I'm going to drag it towards the blue. This is because the reflection of the sky, a little bit lighter. Something like that should work. And I'm going to paint the top part of the rocks. All right, I'm going to click opacity to 50, control click to select the color. Let's try with this. I'm going to delete the background. Let's save. And here we have our tile. So I'm going to come here to the side and I will select my new tile. Here on with these bottoms, you can rotate your tile. As you can see right now, it's not correct. So that's the correct option. You can also flip on the X axis and on the Y axis. Let's do the same for the other side. We need to flip it there. Perfect. And the same for the bottom. This one is work. Flip on the Y axis. All right. And as you can see, it has automatically updated here on this view. And we can still paint. Something important is that if you're going to use the tier tool, you need to select the middle tile. All right. And there we are painting with our tile set. And this is already looking pretty nice, I would say. All right, so finally, we are going to export our tileset. For that, you're simply going to right click, sorry, left click, and you will select, drag like this, right click, and you can choose export as image to save simply as a PNG. And later we are also going to see how we can export directly to Unity. You can also export to GameMaker and to Godot, but I don't use those engines, so I cannot teach you that. And you can also come here, drag with the selection tool selected, right click, export as image, and you will have that level that you painted, right? And here you will have your tile set. Just a little thing. Another thing that you can do is to actually replace any of these tiles. So let's say, for example, that you want a customized corner. As you can see, I made two more tiles. You can simply uncheck composite and I'm going to select my other source and you will simply rotate it to your needs. Let's do the same for the other one, there we go, and for the bottom. All right, you can do the same for these corners. All right, so as you can see, this looks maybe a little bit more interesting. Another stuff is this cutoff, right? So let me change a color here so you can see exactly what this means. 
right? You will see that we have two pixels there. This is the cutoff. Let me show you this a little bit better if I can. Let me drag that. So we have a left cutoff and a down cutoff. If you are here, you will only have an up cutoff. This is basically, let me replace this so you can see it better. You see those pixels from the lines to the grid? That's an offset that the tile has and that offset, offset is this cutoff. So if I put this to zero, you will see that it reaches, it reaches the top of the grid, right? Let's put this to four and here, because I don't want those pixels, I can increase this to 10, for example, and it's gone. And perfect, I can replace this here. And that there. And there we have it. I'm going to export my tile again. And great. So yes, in the next video, we are going to work in a top-down tile set. See you then.